Hey guys and girls, Luna here. Welcome back to another Fallout Settlement video. We're here at Longfellow's Cabin. And like I said in the last video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a small pier. Just kind of like a little one that you can fish off of. And we're going to be using just regular wood for the flooring. And if you actually go into barns and go to miscellaneous, you can use these posts to actually attach onto the side of the wood. And it makes the little kind of uh, stilt things that go into the ground. So it looks like a cool looking pier. And it's just going to be a type of pier that you fish off of. It's not going to go into the water. So we're just going to get started on that. So guys, how have you been? I've been super busy in the past couple of weeks uh, making Doom videos, as you already know. And I've had so many brand new subscribers from those Doom videos. I've had nearly 4,000 in like the past three weeks. And it's been crazy because that's kind of like how many subscribers I got for like the past six months. And I've had that in just three weeks. So it's been really cool having all of you uh, brand new people on my channel. I've had so many likes, so many comments, more comments than I could possibly reply to. Um, it's slowed down a bit now because obviously the uh, people have already played Doom. They've already got all their collectibles and their achievements. But hopefully you guys stick around for future videos. There's going to be a little break in between playing Doom and the next game, which is going to be Mirror's Edge Catalyst. And I'm not sure how or kind of what achievements or stuff there will be for that yet or whether there'll be any collectibles but I will make videos on it nonetheless and I'm going to continue to make Fallout videos so long as there are people interested in it I was going to make videos for Overwatch I made one and I know some of you guys had really nice things to say in the comments about that video about how uh, helpful the video was unfortunately there just wasn't enough people who kind of watch that video for me to continue on making. There are 22 characters in Overwatch and I've played quite a lot of it to be honest. I've been playing it for the past like four or five days non-stop. I know a lot of people haven't really enjoyed the game, said it was kind of childish or stuff like that, but I've thought it's been really fun. But anyway, making videos for it has been kind of a really time consuming. It takes about eight hours to make the video for one character and you know there's 22 characters so I really needed there to be a kind of a lot of support for it and there just wasn't really that much. So it wasn't worth my time making despite the fact that um, some people did find it helpful. So I'm not really sure what I'm doing here guys, I'm just kind of making this up as I go along. But I will just try and get this to go on here and get it go as close as I can to the beach. So I've been working on just making um, or just playing Overwatch and trying to get the achievements for it. It's actually really, really difficult to get the achievements for that game. And I've just kind of given up for some of the characters. Like, um, I'm really, really useless at using Genji. And I can get like 30, 40 kills using Reaper or Hanzo. But playing as Genji and someone like Zenya or something, you know, the achievements are just, uh, even after like playing for four days of those characters continuously, you know, still don't have the achievements for them. But I've just kind of given up and having fun playing the game rather than working on the achievements. Anyway guys, I am going to be making videos tomorrow or the next day for the console mods. I don't know what console mods are going to be. I've seen something there's going to be like a two gigabyte limit for the size of the mods. So anything that's kind of less than that can be in the game. So we will see. Hopefully, the well, ones I'm looking forward to the most will be one that adds in all the colorful lighting. So, just to make the different settlements I have extra cool looking. I'm hoping there's a mod for some kind of unlimited resources or materials or something. That will be really, really handy so we don't have to rely on console glitches like the duplication glitch which I've used a couple of times today already because I keep running out of materials and I don't know how it'll work I know there are mods for like adding in brand new stuff into settlements like uh, buildings and stuff that they don't have in console I don't know how that's gonna work but if there's new stuff I'm happy to use it it will give my uh, settlement some extra cool stuff to put around all the different settlements so I'll be happy with whatever we get Wow, this went a lot further than I thought it would. So do you think this guy's 
We think this pier is looking pretty good so far. I'm just going to continue going out. I've built quite a lot of piers in my time through Minecraft, so I kind of know what I'm doing. I don't know how nice this is going to turn out because I'm just building it up as I go along. So I'm just going to continue with this, okay? I'm just going to leave it there for now. I will continue making them stick out the way. I know that it kind of seems a bit high off the water, but if you checked out the last video, we kind of went with the theory that there's a high and low tide, and so we kind of need to leave a little space for the uh, the water to rise up a bit. I'm going to actually fill in this all the way back as well, and then I will show you how the uh, posts work because they actually fit in really, really well. Uh, I'll just leave that for now. We'll go all the way to Barnes, okay, and we were already on it, miscellaneous. And these posts actually attach onto the sides, or they actually attach onto the top as well, but they attach onto the side of these wooden flooring. So it looks like it's a pillar going right down into the mud or some kind of stilt. And it looks like it's holding up this, so I thought it was a really cool effect. It's exactly the kind of thing you want from up here. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I can see I already need to reduce the size of my saddle then. I'm going to continue on. I can get back up. Oh, yeah, I can't get back up. I'm going to continue on building this, and then I will show you what it looks like in a second once I've done all of the uh, kind of stick out bits, and we can start putting in some of the detail. I also need to reduce the size of my settlement. Okay, so I filled in a lot. It looks like I've done more than it actually is. I've completely filled in all of the floor here. I put some fence around all the back parts. I can't fill this in. It won't let me fill in because that rock there. I filled in all these back parts so you can't fall down because there are some spaces in between the uh, floor and the actual sand here. But what I've done is I've stuck out a couple, one, two, three, four. We've kind of got like four different pier bits sticking out. And I've completely filled in every single one of the flooring with one of these pillars that's in the barn menu. Okay, and it looks really, really cool. You get the little ones here. Well, let me get to my build menu so I can show you properly. Um, we need to go down to structures, barns, and miscellaneous. Okay, you get the little posts here, but you also get the big ones. So when you get deeper into the water, you can place down the big ones. They don't quite reach here. I guess you could put on ones underneath if you really want to. I'm not going to spend time doing that right this second. And I brought it right along to here, and so you can get up the stairs. Okay, so it's looking really, really cool. And this place here, it's just for, it's more like a fisherman's pier, okay? It's not for boats or anything like that. It's for fishermen to stand on the end of. And what we're going to do now is we're going to place down some stuff to decorate this, okay? So I'm going to place down a barn. Just, I want to put it here because I want to cover up that hole. Okay, so we've got one barn. I'm not going to build one. You just keep that one there. It looks pretty nice. We can go all the way to... Let's see what we just have, okay? I don't think there's going to be anything else in barns, actually. We can go here. These cages kind of look like they're for uh, catching crabs or lobsters or something. So I'm just going to place down one like there and one there. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. It's looking really good with the uh, the ship in the background as well. It kind of adds to this whole effect. What else do we have in here? I'm just going to quickly go through um, all the different categories and place down stuff. And then I will uh, decorate it and show you once it's finished. Okay. So I'll kind of decorate this one just now. Furniture. I think the other things are in miscellaneous here. Okay, so we've got fish racks. So I'll place down, say, like one there and we get a long one going in along this way we'll get some fish racks that will actually have the fish on them right there I'm gonna place another one there okay and the final category is I think if we go to decorations we've got some stuff in miscellaneous so let's take a look We'll get past all this stuff. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. You just got some things that randomly lie around on the dock. I'm gonna put that like 
Mm, I'm gonna put it over here. Like that. See, this is looking really, really cool already. Just randomly placing stuff around. We can get this little fish basket here right next to that. I'm gonna put... That's like a lobster cage, so we've got crab and lobster. They can be like for catching loads. And they're just kind of placed here, waiting for a ship to come in. And put them on, just like a deadliest catch. That's what I'm thinking of. I'm not going to place down any of those tanner hide things there. And I think that's it. There are some things I'm missing. I don't know where they are exactly. Maybe they're in this. Here we are. In miscellaneous. Under wall decorations. I'm going to try to place these down somewhere. Can we get them on the side of the pier here? I hope so. Yeah, so that's looking pretty good. We can place it down right there. Okay, so we've got this pier decorated. I'm not going to go around and decorate the rest of this pier. Can't get back up. I'm going to go around and decorate the rest of this pier and I will show you it once it's finished. It's basically just going to be exactly the same as this, but I will use different combinations of stuff, okay? Also, I uh, built some stairs going down here into the sand. And I used these posts just for uh, support, because I couldn't put down fence, you know, like as railing. So I kind of used these posts instead, but it looks pretty nice. Okay guys, so I will see you in a few seconds. Alright guys, so <laughs> I've completely decorated this place. It's not entirely finished, I'm going to add in some market stalls, but I'm not going to do it too much later in the actual settlement build. But I will show you everything that I've built here, and I have to admit, it's looking really, really cool. So, we go down here, and we have, on the first pier, I've added in some of these fish racks. I've got some of these just random uh, crates and barrels lying around everywhere. But on the end one here, we have kind of a, a lookout guard post. So that's just to keep an eye on any ships that are coming in. Over on the next one, I've placed randomly down crates and fish racks. I've just placed everything down randomly. I haven't put too much thought into it. But at the end here, we've got an area where you can sit and fish. We've got a radio. We have the fire pit. You can catch your fish and put them in the basket. Okay, so you can fish off of this end pier here. We've also got this uh, tool chest for keeping your uh, tackles in. Okay, so that's all the fishing stuff. I've decorated that one with just barrels and crates again. And on here, I added in these two prefabricated ones onto the side of this pier to turn it into a little workshop. So we've got some of these tanner things, but they don't really do anything. And we have two weapon workbenches. I also, if you can probably tell, added in these uh, raider tents, just because they go really, really well with this place. I've added in lampposts as well to keep the whole place lit up at night, even though it's very hard to see when it's at night because it's foggy. I also decorated the fence with these going all the way along. On the next one is the one that you saw originally. So I just placed everything randomly down here. So I don't need to explain that one. You've already seen. Hey, let's look at this. <laughs> that, is that... What is that? I don't know. And here is where we're going to put in some market stalls. There will be kind of like going around the edges. And I will fill up the inside of here with the same thing as well. Over here, I just placed on a barrel. I didn't want to get too cluttered on this one because this one's kind of for getting to the ship. I know we can't build there, but you can uh, just pretend that the, the ship would extend over to here. And finally, here again, this will just be uh, more market stall stuff. But I've put in a generator here and one here. I put in this one because we need the power. And I put in this one because of the way it looks. I like the way that the uh, wind generator one looks. But anyway, guys, that's part two of our Longfellow settlement build. And we've built ourselves a really cool looking pier. I know I didn't show you exactly how to build this. But, you know, I've kind of went through it in stages and uh, showcased it in kind of separate parts. So you can kind of build it yourself if you want to. But once you've got the general shape, you know, all the decoration is simple. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to continue on building the settlement now. I've already got one building that you haven't seen, so I'm not going to look over that direction. You can kind of see the top of it there. So you will see that in the next video, and I'm going to start building some more stuff. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank anyone who has watched the whole video and liked it, and I will see you all next time for part number three. See you then guys.